Hey everybody watching at home, you are watching Walking and Talking with Phoenix. Or Fizzy Capone, I should say. And today's segment, pretty much, is about not taking yourself too seriously. So, I've been noticing that a lot of people really be getting caught up in ego these days, you know. Always wondering and always thinking, you know, what's everyone else thinking and wondering about me? You know what I'm saying? And this, this builds all sorts of anxieties and pressures and stress. And this is completely unnecessary, if you ask me. So I think, you know, uh, to people take themselves too seriously in general. That's what, that's what this is all about. And, you know, we only live so long, really. And I think, you know, why would you want to waste time? Like, stressing out and worrying what other people think and taking everything so seriously. I mean, the world is full of so much serious shenanigans as it is. I mean, with terrorism and and terrorism and then and then there's terrorism, you know? Sorry, I've just had that pummel into my head so often, so much for the last 10 years. Nothing else really comes to mind when I think about what I'm afraid of and what's serious, because I know terrorism is pretty serious. But you know, there's a lot of a lot of dark shit going on in the world, a lot of stresses. And it's it's already enough to take seriously. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's already enough. We don't need to be sucking the floor on our plate. We don't really need to be chucking more on our plate and loading on some extra unnecessary stress by worrying about silly things such as other people's opinions and other people's thoughts when they see us. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, we, when we're walking around, we're just a blink in the eye of strangers around us. And everybody, you know what, everybody's so caught up in their own personal image and worrying about that that nobody really gives a fuck what you're doing. No one really gives a shit. They're not really paying that much attention to, it, to you. Don't flatter yourself to think that you're the center of attention. The world revolves around you and everyone's just hanging off every move you make and how you look every step of the way. Like, like this, this kid, this kid's strutting around. He doesn't care because he's a kid. He understands that life's all about just going with the flow, having fun and strutting when you want to strut. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I think there's benefits to not taking yourself seriously and furthermore, being comfortable with making a fool of yourself. I think there's some real benefits you know, besides obviously the fact that it's humbling, you know. I mean, a lot of people tend to go to the opposite extreme of humble, which I suppose would be, I don't know, narcissistic, I suppose. Um, and that, you know, that just rubs people up the wrong way as well. You don't want to be too full of yourself, too worried about seeming perfect in everyone's eyes and keeping your image in, in good shape, you know. There are more important things in life than that. So I think, you know, if you could be comfortable being a fool and stretching your boundaries and your barriers of comfort and every now and then just doing something stupid, you know, foolish or something that makes you look like a total tosser just for the hell of it, I think is actually quite healthy in uh, the development of soul. You can do the total opposite of that and take yourself seriously and act according to everyone else if you want to develop ego more. But I have a feeling you'll probably develop that enough. And other people have helped you develop that from birth. You probably really haven't had a choice. So um, that's today's thought. That's today's food for thought. Is that, you know, this isn't really much. It's just me wearing a wig, all right? Otherwise, I look like, I look pretty sharp right now. So it's not really a whole lot to judge. But, you know, I've been walking around 20, 25 minutes. Got to receive a few odd looks. Don't really care. Because why does it matter? You know, well, at the end of the th day, I think, yeah. at the end of your life, not all these other people, they're not going to be looking back on you and they're not even going to remember those moments seeing you act like a fool, you know, and having fun at your image's expense. They're not going to remember that. They're going to be looking back on their life, choices they made for them, and looking back at how they lived life. And that's what matters most. So, I think it's, it's good to be able to realize that it doesn't really matter about other people's views 
Because at the end of the day, all that matters most is your view and what you think of you and how you feel of you. And, you know, if you don't take yourself seriously and you can be humble, as well as develop the sense of self-importance and image and status, if you can also be humble and a fool, I think it's a really healthy balance, you know? And, uh, yeah, I think it's something that everybody should strive for. Anyway, that's uh, today's food for thought. Um, and I might provide some examples of how to be spontaneous, maybe.